Amber is with us. Okay. Angela from Franklin County is on. And we just need the 641 number, Angela. Okay. All right, whoever's on the phone, 641-648-7300, if you just want to let us know who you are so we can add you to the minutes, we'll get started. It's Amber from Pinnacle. Okay, you're just using the phone. All right, thanks, Amber. Yep. I'm going to go ahead and open uh, the meeting, ask for approval on the agenda. Motion to approve the agenda. I'll second. Okay, a motion and a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Uh, we're here for the public hearing uh, for animal feeding operation construction permit, Shiller site, section three, Alden Township. Andrew, can you verify proof of publication? Yes. Um, Published down here. Eldor Harold Ledger on August 31st, and uh, Texas Natural Journal on. Okay. Any written comments, Angela? No. Okay. Um, sorry, Kent, I'm going to go ahead and yield the floor to you and review the project. Okay. So, and again, introduce Kyle Chains, owner of the project from Alden. Um, so this will be a 5,400 head site uh, in section three of Alden Township, West Alden. Um, we're building 271 by 277 feet long hooded barns. So the manure will all be uh, roofed and then an eight foot deep cement pit. Um, we get into uh, the manure plant projects, uh, uh, projects projected to produce about 1.773 million gallons of manure. Uh, we've got acres in there, uh, acre capacity right now. Uh, let me get to the right page. Uh, but anyway, there's 8.4 million gallons of acre capacity that they farm uh, in that neighborhood. So plenty of uh, plenty of capacity to utilize the manure. So, and then Kyle also works with a number of the neighbors as far as uh, sharing those manures on the on the years that uh, his rotations allow. But the matrix uh, scores 470 points um, of the 440 that are required. I'll go through that scoring just briefly, um, and then I'm sure open it to any uh, questions you have in detail beyond that. But as we go into matrix question number one, our minimum separation distance is 1,875 feet um, by code. This site uh, sits 2,216 feet uh, directly south of the closest neighbor, uh, makes it eligible for uh, 25 points of 100 on, on question number one. So again, we're going to, um, as we go through these questions, we're, we're going to get to 470 points. So um, there's no public use areas in the neighborhood. So question two, we get 30 points out of 30. Uh, question three uh, has that same separation distance to uh, churches, schools, and commercial enterprises. There are none uh, out 3,376 3, feet, so uh, we scored 30 of 30 points on question number three. Uh, closest water source is 3,693 feet away of the 500 required, so we scored 30 of 30 on question number four. This site's actually uh, sitting just west of an existing acre acreage um, uh, uh, farm that Kyle's farmed for a number of years that he's purchased from uh, his landlord's estate. Uh, but it's going to sit west off the road, 500 feet, kind of tucked in behind the uh, century farm uh, of the purchaser. So anyway, uh, it's eligible for uh, 30 points on question number five for being more than 300 feet off the right of way. Okay. Uh, no critical public use areas. So he's eligible for 10 points on question number six. Um, uh, next question we took points for was question number eight. Uh, closest major water is the Iowa River. It would be to the north, northeast, 4,911 feet of the 1,000 feet required. So he scores 50 points of, of 50 on question number eight. Uh, no high quality waters within 2,000 feet. So he scored 30 points on question number 10. 
Uh, as I mentioned earlier, it's going to be covered uh, manure storage. So we scored 30 points on question number 12. Uh, Kyle also stockpiles uh, or composts the mortality on all of their sites. Um, it'll have a cement uh, roof structure. Uh, and so he scores 30 points on question number 16. Um, we mentioned it was cement pit, so he scores 30 points for using form cement uh, storage on question number 17. It'll have a big truck turnaround. Again, we're gonna be coming in off the road, going back into the yard, 500 feet, turning around in front of the buildings. Uh, they've had no administrative orders on, uh, on any of their sites that they own in Frank, uh, in, in Hardin and Hamilton counties. Um, they qualify for the family farm tax credit on question number 23. By size, we score 10 points on question number 24. Um, this site has the commitment to utilizing either a wet dry feeder or a cupped or panned watering system. Um, the benefit of that is it'll eliminate uh, water wastage, and in turn, then it makes a more concentrated manure product because of that lack of wasted water. So 20, question number 25 scores 25 points. They've committed to injecting the manure out of that facility on the same day they apply it. And again, on that commitment, that's a lifetime commitment. So even though broadcasting manure is still legal in Iowa today, uh, this site has a commitment to always injecting the manure, okay? And with that, I think uh, the last set of questions, the last question that we took was the closure plan. It's a five pointer and uh, it addresses that someday when that site's no longer used for livestock production, it'll be taken down to whatever uh, local county, state and or federal code requires at that time. And with that, then that's uh, how we achieve the uh, the 470 points out of the 440. Uh, I'm going to ask Dan, to you to unmute Dan. <clears throat> yes. Morning, Dan. Anything you'd like to add to the review that you, uh, the plan you reviewed at this point? Sure. We met with the DNR yesterday. Okay. And they, um, <clears throat> they were going to take a survey between the existing um, the existing hog site to the southeast, just to make sure that they had their footage taken care of before they were going to be building it. Um, it's fairly close. Usually the DNR, if it's within 10% of the distance, they would want it surveyed. Um, talked with a um, <clears throat> representative yesterday. And he said that they would survey that to make sure that they had the distance, distance correct. Other than that, I see nothing wrong with where the site needs to be. Okay. I really don't see anything wrong with the distance. I don't, I don't think that they're with that they're um, they're shorter than they need to be. I think that they are within the correct distance. They just want to survey it to make sure. Anthony, anything for the end? Okay. Dan, I, I would like to thank you for stepping up and helping us out while uh, Ms. Sheridan is uh, out of the office. I appreciate that. Not a problem. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Anything else for project review, Kent? No. So Kyle owns the south directly to the southeast, and we've got it 2,525 feet away. Uh, Anything closer than that, they would consider those two sites the same. Um, and again, this one's this one's far enough away that it should stand alone. We would have plenty of area in the field if we needed to move it around, but we really don't need to. And our our mapping and uh, it looks like Amber's off the phone right now, but we should be within a foot or two of of what we've got uh, when the real survey comes. So. Um, I don't expect any problems, but we do have plenty of area. He owns the whole farm. So uh, we have plenty of area to move it around. We just, it fit really nicely on the topography uh, where we've got a place. So we, we'd like to preserve that from a construction and a, a layout perspective. This site will have uh, loading docks out the east side of it and uh, kind of sits on a, 
a saddle. And so uh, we'll build right into that saddle and those loading docks will come out 48 inches tall on the east end uh, that we target there for a truck load out height. So more detail than we wanted, but, uh, but we'd like to leave it where we've got it. All right. And so to memorialize, Angela, no written comments? No. Okay. At this time, I can ask for public comments. So if you want to open the mics. I'm Julie Dunn. I have a comment. Okay, go ahead, Julie. Okay. Um, I looked at Appendix C, the master matrix, um, and things that points were not taken for. Um, number 13, emergency containment area, no points taken, uh, no plan for emergency containment area then at the pump out area. Um, number 14, filters to reduce odors, no points taken. Don't filters catch particulates in the air that you know would spread. Um, rhetorical question, of course. Um, number 16, composting. I'm sure that you took special care to get that right this time. Uh, number 20, no administrative orders in five years. Um, too bad a violation, um, a notice of violation does not count because you did receive one. One was sent on July 25th, 2019 concerning a phosphorus index manure management plan. And so I assume that you did finally file that. Um, let's see, community support, no points taken. Um, I guess there's probably not very many um, homes out there. Um, rural homes have been abandoned with the proliferation of CAFOs in that area. Number 38, um, Manure Management Plan Confidentiality Waiver. No points taken. That means that the public cannot inspect MMPs for over-application or discrepancies. And we know by looking at maps that the, the, the number of CAFOs there is, um, yeah. It would be nice if people could actually inspect those um, manure management plans, but I guess not. Um, no points taken for groundwater monitoring wells. Um, oh, site placement map, the second photo. On the far right, we see somebody named Lucky and someone um, that's their place. I guess they're not so lucky at all. Thank you. Thank you, Julie. Any comment in the room? Okay. Anything else, Lance? Renee? Uh, Dan, will you let us know um, in writing about the survey results just so we can add that to everything? All right, thank you. With that, I can ask for closing the hearing. Close the hearing. I will second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. This time I can ask for adjournment. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. We're adjourned. Thank you. Thank you.